Okay. Um, hello again. Welcome to uh, Act 3 of me attempting to talk through my slowest power runs. Um, I'm tinkering with the audio setup a little bit, so you should hear a game sound this time. And I will also probably take breaks when planes fly overhead, so you don't have to deal with quite such a kind of quite so much noise is from them. Um, we'll see how the editing to remove that works, though. So uh, I'm still experimenting. Anyway, on to the game rather than talking about my video setup. Uh, right. Um, uh, I already did this last time, but it, if you don't pick the first enemy, the game state resets to the boss of pick, so I'll pick the same thing I did last time, uh, Coffee Dripper, for exactly the same reason, which is that we can easily heal more than we heal without campsites. Um, so we've got our green key already, so no burning weights to worry about. Uh, what we want is <coughs> um, to try to take on our weights. Um, the question is how brave we're feeling and whether we want to take this path. Like, it gives us plenty of outs, so it's not a terrible plan. Um, I'm now at this point thinking about what this deck needs <coughs> to actually win. I think the answer is more block and more card draw. We've got a little a little bit of each, but not really enough. Like um, some exhaust synergies would be great. Upgrades would be nice. The armaments carries us a lot of the way there if we get the card draw. Um, it's not a perfect solution to that problem, but it's not an awful one. I guess to some degree we'll see what we get. Um, but the questions here are basically like, do we want to go to lots of shops? Um, I think I'd quite like... We're not currently very good at exhausting cards, um, which matters because uh, the thought process there was that ideally this would be mind bloom, and I was trying to decide whether um, I would take the normalities for gold, and probably not, because I can't easily exhaust them before killing one of these elites. There's a nice path there on the left where we get three campfires worth of upgrades, but there's only one elite there, and one is a much smaller number than three. Anyway, I'm clearly starting here. Let's see how this goes. Um, cost, evolve, defend, double close line. Not much point in playing Reaper there because it just doesn't do that much damage. Um, barricade being pretty useless once again, but we might as well play it because the energy works out. We're not going to play feed yet because we would ideally like to actually feed on the enemy and this will kill it. Um, so we're about to take a bunch of damage. Or Calcum doing good work there, though. Is there anything we want to headbutt before we formal strike? I think no. Uh. Let's headbutt feed now because we will probably be able to kill next turn. Or maybe unwarranted confidence. Decent chance. Oh yeah, definitely we will be. Right. Bandage at first. Now yeah, kill. <coughs> this arm is quite nice to have for subfights. I've completely forgotten who we're fighting. 
or fighting dead to attack him. So that shouldn't be a problem given that uh, Deca will fill our deck with daces, and we're trying to be good at that. Let's take this book of stabbing, it becomes easier. Um, here I think I will just Reaper straight away. It will put me on full health. And potentially I could have waited on that one, but... Possibly should have not used my Reaper immediately because I forgot how much this fight was going to damage me, basically. Um, maybe we want to take this thing out. Can we do that? So that would be 25 and then an additional... 10, 35, no, not quite. <clears throat> Things we don't really want to kill the middle one just yet. Um, oh, right, so hang on, because we've got the additional 5 from Combust. So what did I say there? It's 25, and then that's 35, and then 5 from Combust kills it. Yeah, let's do it. I didn't need to have lost that, that was stupid. Oh well. I should really have um, disarmed this one. There was some sort of logic going on in my head, but it didn't actually make sense because I think I was assuming I was killing this one this turn. So that dies into this turn. I should have played armor those before that. This is very much me falling back into my bad habits of like playing without paying too much attention. I think I do want to play our moments before Pommel Strike because it gives us the extra card draw. As I said, that dies at the end of this turn anyway. Okay. Offering is good here. Strong argument for barricade defend entrench. Yeah, that would put me over what I need to be at for clockwise. Let's do that. Barricade heals us a little bit. And. Goddamn choker. As you are probably seeing, like one of my significant limitations in being better at this game than I am is that I don't necessarily remember all the states in his management. Um, like you've seen me forgetting Oracalcum quite a lot. You've seen me forgetting Choker quite a lot. I I usually remember Necronomicon, but anyway, um, I'm going to. True Grit, hope it doesn't help her hit and trench, and like, there's a feed I've got, right? Yeah, because I do want to feed here. Fuck. Just gonna hold next. 
I think my life is still better if I feed than if I... Yeah, let's... Let's keep going. So here the question is, can we kill this turn? Uh, and our strength is high enough that I think the answer is yes. Um, we... Hema does one. Strike. Feed. Drop to go. I really should use these potions. One of my other failings in this game is that I don't tend to use potions enough, and so they often go to waste. Um, I will take this flame barrier, uh, because as I said, I need to block better. Um, barricade flame barrier, I think. A uh, question of whether to Reaper here. I don't think so. What the 10 constricts? This is quite a painful turn, but... Um, I should be able to full heal out of this height if I... Although... I may be optimistic. Um, I find this fight always does slightly too much damage. If I can get um, barricade and trench nonsense off. I think that given that I would like to play this true grit here now, I'm going to barricade now and um, just assume that I get enough back from powers and such for it to be worth it. My strength engine goes off immediately the turn after I play barricade. Not barricade. Um, whatever that cat attack was just called. Reaper. I know this game. Honest. Yeah. I'm sort of regretting taking Choker. I think it was the correct call, but I'm still sort of regretting it. I think the objective is now just to kill this thing as fast as possible. Is it worth grabbing cards? I don't think it is, because I think that I only get to play one of them. There is some plane noise there that I had to edit out, so apologies if you just saw a bit of a jump. Um, this turn, it might be worth it, because I'm remarkably close to being dead here, and I don't like that very much. Like, I'm not going to die, but it's, it's not that far off. So if we are moments... Probably going to close line um, to apply a nice dose a week. Should rage before that. Question. Bash first and close line. Remember, close line counts as two for choker as well. It's what the unfortunate Necronomicon choker interaction. Um, so that would be two, three, four, five. Choker is. Six. So let's, yeah. Rage, double dash, single close line. 
inability to consider that energy is a thing. Well done, David. Uh, I guess I'll do this instead. This is another unfortunate interaction with fire breathing and feed, which is that fire breathing often means that you don't get to control when you kill things. Uh, I don't want any of these cards. Um, so often you fail to get a feed off. I think I've got a lot of gold, and if nothing else, it would be nice to remove a strike. So I think I'm going to go to the shop instead of uh, a question mark. So things I obviously want here are <coughs> um, feel no pain, uh, dual wield, card remove. It's these are nice but not really necessary calipers. I'm barely making enough block to do anything with my barricade, let alone calipers. Dig don't have enough camps, camps that's left to be worth it. Um, or a really solid choice, potentially. Um, I'm definitely going to remove a strike. I think I will pick Orrery and see what he has to offer me. Second rupture isn't a terrible idea necessarily. Sword boomerang is a pretty good choice given that we're doing strength nonsense. Uppercut isn't. And bludgeon's quite good with uh, our five energy and an economicon. I think I will take bludgeon. Brutality gives us card draw and strength. I think Brutality is a better choice than Sword Boomerang. We really haven't upgraded enough, and Second Armaments is somewhat tempting. But I think the Strength Scaling and Powerness of Rupture is better. I'm not going to take a second barricade. I will take this armaments then. <clears throat> and now I will take this feel no pain and I will take this to the world. And that clears out most of my gold. Um, yes. I'm pretty sure I could be these. Not starting with as much block as I would like, though. This might be time to break up my traffic room. That does not help. I was hoping for a block motion there. I guess what we do now is okay. We need to be careful about choker limits. Um, I'm going to use bludgeon to kill this, uh, and that is and that puts me up to five. So I have one other card I can play. Um, which should probably be Disarm, because a Rage or Arm gives me the same as Oracle Halcon, and Armaments gives me one less. Yes, I think that's the right plan. 
No, it could be bash. Um, it might make sense for it to be bash. I think it makes it. I think bash is a more sensible plan um, because it these aren't doing multi attacks and it lets me kill it quicker. Now maybe I'm dead here. Evolve seems worth playing. And then... Reckless Charge, because now I'm going to play a Sneko Eye. Not Sneko Eye. My considered opinion is fuck that. Uh, I think I just lose now. That's sad. I was enjoying this experiment. Uh, I do possibly have the ability to not lose. Um, I can get to 26 and then the uh, combust does one. So like I have the I have the ability to not lose if I kill next turn. And I haven't played Reaper yet, so it's possible I draw that next turn, which would also be a nice thing to do. Uh, playing a So playing a power would get, give me a little bit of breathing room as well. Um, so let's see. If I armaments defend, that is 13 block, that's 29. Um, I think that's what I have to do. <clears throat> it's very close, but that's not that close. Okay, I just kill it. Sword Boomerang Temptation with the Strength Scaling, but I don't think I really need it. Sentinel for the block, I think. Ugh. Here's the problem. If I didn't have Coffee Dripper, the correct thing to do would be obviously to be take the, taking the campfire. Um, given that I do have Coffee Dripper, I don't know that the left path is actually that much easier. Except in the sense that it has fewer combats between here and Donu and Deca. Which... Pentagraph will heal me. Uh, for 25 HP. Which might be enough to get me through Donu and Deca. Less combat isn't necessarily better, though. Like, theoretically, I heal in all life fights. I admit it hasn't been working out that well, right? This theory hasn't been working out for me that well in practice. But, you know, one can live in hope. Um, probably I just walk into the next elite fight and die regardless of what I do. But let's give this a go. Okay, I might be able to survive this one, maybe. Um, 
like I think what I need to do here is I need to disarm it, which significantly eases the pain of this fight. Evolve to heal for two. Entrench. I now take. I'm now essentially HP neutral on this turn. Uh. I mean, I guess I'll do the like two damage to it from its intelligible, but whatever. Flame barrier, feel no pain. Do I bash or do I headbutt? Is the question here. I think next turn it doesn't attack me, so I don't need to headbutt a flame barrier in. So I think I will bash. I may have that wrong. I don't necessarily have the, the move sets memorized for these. Um, it is intangible, so there is no point in playing Reaper right now. But I can armaments everything and bandage up. Uh, dual wield and rupture is probably worth doing. It gives me extra HP, and I'm not using the energy for anything else. And it also gives me four strength every time I self damage, which is nice. Oh, fuck me. Um, Obviously, I have to play Offering, otherwise I die. I presumably also die once I played Offering. Um, cannot kill it this turn. Because intangible. So, um, I, yeah, this is where the run ends, I guess, because... Um, I need to somehow find got 17, 25 hit points worth of protection. Um, 13 hit points worth of protection, but I can manage six from the healing here. Oh, I, I have elixir to exhaust things and I have uh, feel no pain. I think this still doesn't work, but let's give it a let, let's think about this. Uh, so if I um, so each of these is worth three walk. So that's six, that's eighteen, which would get me to twenty one thirty five. So that is a, that actually does protect me enough. Um, I think it's worth playing at least one of the powers. Um, I think playing the self damage powers now is just clearly suicide. So I think what I do is I play barricade, I then elixir everything. And now I have technically survived that round. Play these for healing. I would like to state for the record that I would never have survived that turn if I were not doing uh, explain my actions aloud vertical. Um, which is not to say that I'm going to survive this turn, you understand, but um, that's still an interesting example of the system working. Uh, we will do this for exhaust purposes. We will play these.
assume the little thing had that. All right. I think just for a pummel strike, it would have been nice to be able to feed in this combat, but I will settle for taking getting out of this combat alive. So I will use the exhaust from the feed for an extra three block. I did not think I was making it out of that fight, but instead I made it out of that fight at higher health than I went in. Um, I think my talent size is almost the direct choice here. Um, it's two healing and four block a turn on a deck that is desperately trying to make barricade work. Okay, now this is nice because. It would be much nicer if Reaper was not the first thing in the opening hand. Um, I missed I'd taken some tail puzzle. Um, Okay, I think Rupture, Flamer Trench, is it worth offering here? I think it actually isn't. I'd, strength is nice, I do want the strength. And I'm going to head by Reaper to get it back so it will be few less than a full cycle away. Um, the thing is, I only get two cards strong in the fight after offering. Let's do it. Brutality is going to be solid. Now, I don't get to play whatever I upgrade, so is that the right thing to do? 19. 39. Yeah, I still think that's the right thing to do. Uh, I think I need to kill this thing for this turn. Uh, ooh, I can feed on it, that's nice. Let's do that. Metallicize, obviously quite important here. I think just playing these is going to be the correct thing to do. The Auric Alchem Metallicize combo works quite well there. Pain, bandage up. Do that promised Reaper headbutt. Intimidate. We said we didn't need spot weakness earlier, and I think that's still true. Shockwave is nice, weak and vulnerable to all. Um, removes artifact charges, uh, exhausts for what minimal exhaust synergies we have. Um, I think an elite is better than a shop here, because we can go to that shop up there. 
uh, with more money. And this will get us... Um, yeah, this will get us Rabak, which is a nice thing because we need to have. Uh, might as well put the Combust into play. Um, we will block for 10 with... Um, so yeah, playing the Defend would only get us 2. I think we'll just double bludgeon. Annoying combust centennial puzzle interaction. Forgot about that. I don't know if I meant to play hemokinesis here, given that I don't have um, ruptures in play yet. But this thing generally kicks my ass if I don't kill it fast enough, so I think killing it fast is better than not killing it fast. Similar logic with Brutality. I think I will Shockwave first so that the first bash is applied when already vulnerable. I should play Sentinel first there because um, it has that slow thing going on. I think feel no pain. Barricade. Trip it. So now I will at least have some block buffer for, well, well this basically. Uh, let's do a wheel rupture. It's mostly a turn of healing. strength out yet, um, but I'm just gonna die. I'm playing cards before Reaper so that I can um, probably do slightly more damage. Question is, do I think I'm going to get able to feed on Giant Head? My guess is no. The deck will reshuffle next turn because um, I've got one extra card draw. <sighs> let's assume not. Let's assume that I will, rather. Um, because I think the closed line is the better play anyway. Okay, here an offering is very sensible. This gives me all the strength. I think I'm now trying to procrastinate in order to get feed. Um, but of course, I still need to actually get into the point where feeding is a thing that I can do. Um, Rage is not a very good card right now. I think I'll remove it to the next door. Um, because it just interacts too poorly with Joker. Um, Lots of defend plus an entrench would be a solid choice. I think I can get my defend up to 8, 13, 18, 36, which is um, plus that 40. I think that's the right call. I think I'm gaining 8 strength a turn right now. I did the maths wrong, that's a lot more block than I thought I got, but oh, I forgot about it. Stone calendar, nice. Uh, 
tolerable option is to headbutt entrench um, and then bombers strike it. The dual wield on pommel strike. They could possibly even draw two turns. Um, I think I'm not going to do that though. I think I'm going to dual wield pommel strike. And it's not what I would ideally would have drawn, but I like it'll do. Because next turn I should just be able to feed on it. That currently kills. Armaments feed. Delicious. And we'll take the field no pain. The shock would have been a better choice than that. Uh, I have to take the Sapphire Key. I will otherwise not get to fight the heart. Um, I always hate it when I screw up and forget to take the one of the keys. Uh, let's go for it. I'll see you again. to apply Intimidate Beak to it, obviously. It heals us. So the question here is, do we want to play Offering? We don't currently have a Rupture in place, so probably not. Supplementary question is whether we want to play Combust. There it's less clear. Barricade is probably a solid choice, actually. Barricade is nice for this fight. And yeah, I think Barricade and Reckless Charge. Um, the reckless Charge, more for the days it puts into our deck anything else. So now we can start stocking up on block. Uh, I will however double dash rather than play that defend. So now we can rupture and metallicize. I'm going to do Defend Entrenched Druid, I think, like, can be, I could get strictly more block if I True Grit it first, but I'm still lightly traumatized by True Grit exhausting my Defend, not my Defend, my Entrench. So now this fight is one where we should just be full healing, I think. Um, it's... As a result, I'm not going to play Fire Breathing because Elias not just not until I have played Reaper. Um, because I don't want to kill it prematurely. In fact, I'm not going to play Fire Breathing at all because um, uh, because I also want to feed, disarm most things. It's a block card. Strength again. Ah, 
Lovely. So we can do a wheel reaper now. Uh, we can entrench up to more unreasonable block. And we can essentially, yeah, we can full heal with reaper left over. Great. Now our goal is to feed on this thing. Hemokinesis for the self damage is possibly a reasonable choice. Um, yeah, I think it's, the, it's a reasonable choice. Because when feed arrives, we really want to be able to. As for example. Um, okay, so we're going to upgrade feed so we get more. And then it should come out right. Yep, it does. Perfect. This deck has a slightly unreasonable amount of um, healing capabilities. And I'm kind of okay with that. Anyway, I'm going to take Battle Trance because card draw is the thing that this deck is still lacking. Yeah, I'm going to go up this way to get to the store. I do not care that much about a red mask. Uh, I'm going to recall here. And see if there's anything worth upgrading in the stores or this or in this fight. Yep. Hello, transient. I should have done that after playing other cards. Oh, good. Okay, so I'm just going to. Bash is better than Bludgeon here, I think, because it will deal 25 and then I will block for 6 and it will be either very vulnerable, which will reduce its damage in future turns, which is much scarier. Closed line over shockwave, I think, though I could do both. The main reason to do the shockwave is actually, oh no, the main reason not to do the shockwave is the block. Yeah, so I think double closed line and strike. The reason not to want to block is because Auric Alchem. No, it didn't matter in the end. Um, this is unfortunate. I think I want to play the powers purely for their healing. It doesn't matter which of those I played because they would have exhausted anyway. No strength to speak of, but double dual wield, double wound reaper anyway. Dual wield's not actually useful because I'm not going to get a cycle through my deck again. Intimidate is a block card. I should have one strike first. Damn it. Losing that rupture probably loses me quite a lot of HP. Okay, so it dies this turn. Um, there's not much I can do other than Talos Axe Flame Barrier. I could have done better than that, but. Um, ooh, meat in the bone actually fired. That's nice. I think I want a strength potion more than I want a Sneko. Do I want a Fiend Fire? 
I'm gonna say maybe. It's usually a pretty good card. I can probably find the East Room. Medical kit is a nice to have, certainly. Bronze scales will help a lot against the heart, and one of the things I'm thinking right now is that this deck currently doesn't feel like it does that well on the heart. I would definitely take bronze scale, no bronze scales med kit if I was putting wounds into my deck or something. Um, I mean, let's do a strike and remove. Strike and remove is obviously the correct thing to do. I think bronze scales is good enough against the heart that I want it. And I think the. The question is do I want to disarm or do I want a burning pact? And I think the answer is that I want a burning pact. Because I'm not quite good enough at exhausting cards right now. I certainly I won't think I want a burning pact over a med kit. Another option to say yes to Sword Boomerang. What do I have in the way of attacks? I think as my current desires are that I want to block more, I think adding another attack is counterproductive. Okay, what am I smithing? I think possibly battle trance. I have a specific reason which I don't think is very good, but still tempting, which is that Battle Trance is more likely to draw me arm wounds, which means that I'm more likely to have um, bat I'm not more likely to not get to upgrade Battle Trance. Trans in deck. Um, card draw is good. I'm gonna do that. Good pentagraph work there. Um, tempted to dual wield brutality. I think I will dual wield brutality. Wait, it. That of course only will gain me one rupture drop per turn. Um, I don't actually want the rage because. Or rage plus sentinel. Is slightly better. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to kill Donu first because. Oh, fuck's sake. I forgot that would happen. Nope, nothing I can do about that. Um, okay. Armaments, everything. Shockwave won't do anything directly useful, except that it'll, give, it'll remove their artifacts and it will give me a uh, floor block. So I think maybe, but I think that's that's not a bad use case. So I think Shockwave and Trench. I may just lose this fight. I keep saying that, I know. Um, I mean, definitely, these are all good to have into play as a result. I could battle trance. Um, there's very little chance of it being useful. 
that's what I want. Uh, don't have a great deal of strength. So Reaper is only so useful. Uh, on the flip side, it's seven block and twenty four healing, which isn't nothing and probably significant, or is actually quite close to nothing because it's one block and yeah, I think more important to get Dono out of the way. Okay, so we apply two weeks to everyone. Sure. I'd like to apply barricade, but I don't think like I mean I'm not doing any meaningful blocking um, right now. Disarm partly for the loss in strength and partly for the uh, gain in block. Now it would be nice to have a barricade in play because I will be over blocking this turn. Um, I don't need to play anything more. Okay. So the two considerations here are I need to not die this turn. Um, and I would ideally kill Dony this turn. Killing Dono isn't hard, I just bludgeon. And then I've got 14 block incoming from Dazed. I think so. Bludgeon Flame Barrier does pretty well here. Now there's a question. Yeah, so the, the, the question I was thinking there is like, can I get off a feed and or a reaper on Dono? I think, so if I just get to play a, if I just have Oracle outcome, then that is, 10, 24. So that is 53, sorry, yeah, 53 uh, to his 42. So I survive this turn regardless of what I do. Um, if I burning back something, which I think I will, yeah. Burning Pact is basically a block card right now. That's interesting. That wasn't necessarily the right call, but you know. I 
I only have so much willingness to think this through. Keep forgetting about that stone calendar too. Okay, so playing barricade is good this turn. And immediately take away this turn from the Okay, so the rest of this combat is looking on a more solid footing. Would be if my reaper would arrive. Um, that's armaments a true grit, true grit a strike. If I'd done that with bash, I could have fed on him this turn, but I actually don't want to do that. I would rather reaper. I'm not sure that was correct. That's correct. But it's what I got. Oh yeah, he's only on 18. That's not actually worth the Reaper I should have fed. Oh well. I've got a Pentagraph. I will heal from at the end of this combat. It said I was going to remove Rage at the last store, and I didn't. But fortunately, I have enough money to do a card remove thanks to Slime Smiling Mask. I'm now doing okay on card draw, I think. Um, to the point where actually the best upgrade might be this other armaments, which feels a bit crazy, but I think. What would it be if not our moments? A power is an obvious candidate because I don't cycle through them much like I play them when I get them. I could think about this very carefully or I could do obviously the wrong thing. That doesn't require me to think, so I'm going to do that. Zero drop sure? Okay, so we presumably want to disarm this. Um, which leaves us with no way to turn to face that, but the two damages are not that different right now, so that's not the end of the world. And this is the one that you generally want to disarm, I think. First, I've got an artifact charge. Um, I should have used Shocker first. I will use Shocker second. That doesn't actually help me much. Um, no defend because we're a Calcum. <sighs> Keep forgetting about that damn interaction between Combust and uh, Centennial Puzzle. And it's really starting to annoy me that I keep forgetting it. Uh, rupture. No Intimidate at present. I have no Reaper at present, rather. Yes, Flame Bearer. Now it's really important that I get my Reaper off at an opportune time here. Oh, 
Alternatively, I could just kill this thing right now. Let's do that. I think the thing I want to do is still build up absurd amounts of strength and then reaper this thing. But it's a little harder now. I mean, it's not harder to reaper this thing, but it's harder in the sense that um, I'd like to feed afterwards. So what I was hoping to do, oh, I should have offeringed before I, oh well. I'm not going to fire breathing because I would like to control when I kill it. Rupture for more faster strength gain. Burning pack more to get rid of the strike than anything else. Stone calendar has not been entirely a boon. Yes, I am not going to get to feed. I think a skill potion is more useful than a strength potion because I have a lot of sources of strength. Okay, moment of truth, etc. Size. Ooh, an actually useful centennial puzzle clock. I'm going to use the skill potion in case it gives me energy. It does not. Intimidate will be useful later. I want this barricade. I want to metallicize. I can headbutt a rupture into play later. Like I think getting block going is more important than I'm regretting my decision my life choices already. Should have artifact potioned. Um, one of my predictions I was making for this deck was that I was just going to walk into the hard fight and die. It was like everything I foresaw was coming true. Oh good, meat on the branch rocks, that will help. Uh, that's probably a bad order to let in, but so I have no strength right now. Um Honestly, I'm pretty close to full blocking there. Like, um, double feel no pain, slime. That puts me on 36, sorry, 37 rather. Um, 44 minus 
two for the, uh, three for the beat of death, 43. So yeah, that's not bad. Um, remove an artifact charge rather than doing anything useful there. Double clothesline, however, will apply weak the second time, and that's worth it. Yeah, full block. Awesome. So I think what I want to do here is have four cards to play left. So one, two, three. Combust will get the strength scaling off. So I think I think two defend pluses and then trench and combust is the way to go. So it is attacking me for, I can do maths, 90 points, which means that I do survive by default. I think I was like, I've also got the burns taken into account, but that's fine. So this will also be doing a nice amount of damage back. What I would really like is to draw my Reaper alongside a dual wield and an armaments. So I think in order to make that like at all possible, I'm gonna head back the dual wield back. A horrible moment where I thought I had miscalculated and it was gonna kill me that turn. Um, but happily I did not, and it's going to kill me this turn instead. Uh, block, intimidate for weak and also block. Okay, so it's 29, 32, 42, so I survive. Excellent. It's time for additional block. I think headbutting back the dual wield was a long shot and it didn't pay off. Okay. And Beat of Death is on two, so I can Intimidate one tree, one social block. I don't know what I'm trying for there. The correct thing is to use the bridge double reaper now. Two more cards to play, it should probably be Defend and Entrench. Uh, 
I'm thinking this is a fiend fire turn. Okay, so the thing I want to do is A, kill the heart, and B, survive this turn. Possibly in the opposite order to that. Um, it is attacking me for 120. Um, I am not blocking for 120. Um, I'm currently blocking for uh, a total of 49 plus 64 is 73, 113. So that's pretty close, but only if I don't play anything else. Uh, Fiend Fire gives me a lot of block because I have, um, specifically, Fiend Fire gives me 30 block which I think is enough to make the difference. Um, and also does, uh, doesn't quite kill it, but it has pretty close. No, it does kill it, excellent. Woo, I win. Um, that's interesting because I was struggling on Ascension 12. And I guess part of that is I did, I, I mean, I don't know, I, I didn't boss swap at the beginning, and um, that should have made it harder because boss swap is quite strong. Um, but I think, like, it was very obvious to me in playing this how much better I played through talking, out, talking this out aloud um, because there were a number of points there where in a normal game, I would have died. Um, but the fact that I was having to explain myself and having to explain why I was dead um, made me repeatedly go, mm, or I could do this thing that causes me to survive. So I think my initial theory that doing a run through in which I talk this out and explain what I'm doing would improve my Slay the Spire playing is just like obviously true. That, that was very much how that worked. Um, I don't think this is a high score for me, but I'm kind of fine with that. I'm not really playing for score. I'm playing for heart murder. So, excellent. I, I may well do more of these because I really enjoy doing that, actually. <laughs>